Hey, Gracie. Can you hear me? Okay. Um, hey. <laughs> how are you? Good. How are you? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, all right. Oh, I forgot that this thing, I have it set to automatically record. Look how cool that is. Because I totally forget. Um, so how are you? Like, I don't know. I don't know where you stand in your month. Are you doing good? I am at only success club two. Okay, okay. That's awesome. Yeah. I'll, my goal is five, but, um, yeah. I'm still in the forming, you know, of a lot of relationships. Yeah. Um, so it's, you know, it's kind of hard to invite when I'm still forming relationships, yeah. but okay. I'm excited because I started using the Teamsy. Yes. Um, whatever it's called. Uh huh. Um, Do you like it app or whatever? I love it. Okay. Because it tells me who to connect, mm -hmm. when to connect, who to reach out to, when to reach out to. So are you paying for it yet or are you in the Not time? yet. I will be because I was using Google Streak and it, it was not working for me. You know, I really need like the reminders. I really mm -hmm. need the reminders because I talk to and connect with so many people and like I leave people in the dust when I forget. Mm -hmm. It's really bad at this point. Um, so, so, I, so far, I love it. I mean, for me, since I'm new, mm -hmm. um, it's helping me with the power hour because all I have to do is just click, 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 click. And you send a message to the people it tells you to message? Yeah. <laughs> does it give you, like, ideas for messages? It does. It gives you sample scripts. What? That's I know, and you know me, that's what I need, because I'm always asking you guys, what should I say? <laughs> so, wow. yeah. Wow. So, for me, it's really, um, it's helped me get re-energized, re-excited about it. So, how much does it cost? I think, you know what, I want to look. I think it's like, you know, I don't know. Isn't it like 30 or 40 bucks a month? I think it's like 30. Yeah. But. Yeah. That'll pay for itself if, mm -hmm. you know, if and, you know, when they, yeah, the relationships get to that point. She is talking about Mandy and Christy. How are y'all? Hey, talking, good. Good. She's talking about Team Z. I don't know if you've heard of it. Um, it is a, it's a resource that was created for Beachbody coaches. And um, it basically, you pay, it's a service. You can try it free for 30 days, but it, um, you basically, what do you import your, Facebook contacts or something. You input your Facebook contacts, your email contacts. You can even do Instagram, but I haven't figured that out yet. Okay. Um, and then basically it breaks it down into your power hour. Like you probably set goals, right? You have to set mm -hmm. goals. And it you just set goals. Mm -hmm. Specifically like contact Christy Lehman today, invite Christy Lehman, follow up with Christy Lehman, like whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said it even gives you like scripts for inviting and stuff, but I mean, I guess it'd be worth a try. Like I need some type of something to remind me. Um, I like after I've talked to people and I know I can pay for Google Street to do that. I just haven't done it yet. Um, yeah. and so, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, it's, it's something to look into. I've never done, I've been a coach for, you know, three years and I've never done it, but like I didn't really, I mean, I struggled for a while, you know, with the inviting and connecting and like, what do I say? And what are these people going to think of me? Um, mm -hmm. you know, and so like as a new coach, I can definitely see how it would be beneficial just for confidence. And then even like as a coach, who's like where I'm at, it's beneficial for, um, just structure and organization, right? Yeah. Yeah. It would be cool. So anyways, that I do know a lot of coaches that use it. Um, I do and a lot of coaches that use it and it's really helpful. Um, so it's just like that's something else I need to start. <laughs> but you use Hoot, Hootsuite? Do you use? You said you use Hootsuite for emails and stuff. 
No, I, I used Hootsuite as a new coach to schedule like, um, like in the evening, like I knew I always wanted a post to go out before I went to bed, but that was like when I was putting my kids to bed or when I was on one of these calls or something. And so like, I didn't want to be on my phone at that time. And so I would use Hootsuite to schedule posts for a personal page and mm -hmm. I loved it. Like it worked really well, but then Hootsuite kind of stopped working. Uh, I do use Buffer for scheduling posts for like my Facebook groups and sometimes my personal page and our team and stuff. Um, but I have to pay for that, but it's worth it. It works really well. Um, and so I use those because like, honestly guys, like we don't need to be tied to our phones all the time. And I think it's important to get our three or four posts in a day. Uh, but if you schedule a post, it's totally okay. Like it's totally okay. And that is what I had to do in the beginning to get me by. And sometimes I still do that. Like sometimes I still do that. If I know I'm going to be really busy with my kids or we're going out of town or, you know, like we've got like, it's, it's the kid's birthday or something, you know, and I don't want to be on my phone. Like I will schedule posts. I'll schedule a recipe. I'll schedule just a motivational quote. I'll schedule something funny. Uh, you know, like I know some coaches who will actually like take their workout photos and schedule their posts for the next day because they don't want to have to be sitting, you know, sitting down and spending 30 minutes trying to come up with something to say or, you know, edit their photo or something like that. And I, I've heard so many people will say, well, that just doesn't seem genuine. But like to me, um, if it's coming from you and it's your photos and it's your words, like it doesn't matter when post it, you know, just so long as it's you posting it and you're not like copying somebody or using a, a they're not, as an early coach, like there was this coach that would actually like pull workout photos of other people from the <laughs> internet and post them as herself. I mean, like, I was like, you should go to like Beachbody jail or something. That's not cool. Um, <laughs> But yeah, um, integrity is just, you know, just so long as it's yours and it, it doesn't matter, like if you post it the night before or what to me, um, but if, they, if it helps you stay organized, then I think that's great. So those are definitely some good resources for you guys. Um, all right. So we are on week three and I meant to like, shoot, I meant to pull this out. Um, hold on just a second. Let me get something. Um, okay, let's see. I found one of my folders from went not folder, a notebook from when I was an early, early coach, um, probably like in the first six months or so. Um, and I literally, I was just thinking about how, like I was trying to put myself in your shoes, honestly, um, as new coaches. And I know, like I remember very clearly like showing up for these calls and just being hungry for like whatever I could learn from my coach. Um, oh, maybe eat your dinner. Who cares? It's just us. Um, yeah, buffer.com, Chrissy. But I have this notebook from when I was a newer coach. And honestly, in the first few months, I didn't really get serious about this business. Like I would post and I would invite and I would just scrape by with Success Club. But it wasn't until I really got serious that I really made the calls a priority. I showed up with my notebook every call and I would take notes. And so like, I just like, I even remember like early on, like saying I wanted to hit one star and I didn't do that for forever. But you know, like I was just, I don't know. I was just hungry for it. Like once I, once I got past my first few months and I saw the potential and I saw what, you know, the people in my challenge groups were able to, to get from, from these challenge groups and from me as a coach, even though I was just like a baby coach and I didn't even really know how to encourage them and all that kind of stuff. Like I saw the potential and, and I remember wanting to be a good coach. I remember wanting to make a difference. Like I remember thinking, you know, and my mindset as a brand new coach was like, this is going to last probably like five or six months. I'll drink my Shakeology for a little while and then I'll like fizzle out and I'll probably just cancel my Shakeology, whatever. But like the farther, the more I stuck with it, the longer I stuck with it, the more I saw and guys, this business is not like anything else that is out there. There's just, it's just not, and I'm not slamming any other type of multi-level marketing. Uh, I think it's great. I love all these mamas who are working from home or working a side job or whatever to provide for their family. But like, this is just not like anything else. It is not about posting, um, links and just selling stuff. It's 
truly sharing our stories. And that was hard for me. That was so hard for me in the beginning. And I'm ashamed to say that I did copy um, some other people's words and use them as my own in some of my posts, you know, as part of my posts, because I didn't know what to say. Like I was just Rachel Mitchell who didn't come from social media. I did I didn't have a lot of confidence and you know, but I knew that I wanted to share something. And so like if I couldn't get a quote from from Autumn or from the compound effect, I just didn't know what the heck to say. And now clearly, like you can't shut me up today. But you know, in the beginning it was hard. It was really, really hard. And and you hear me say this every single day on every single call. But the sooner you can get and I don't even like to use that word comfortable, but the sooner you can get used to sharing your story, like Ashley Smith, I've, we've, I've shared this in our team page before, but I'll put it in our little thread too, is a coach. She's a top 10 coach. And she talks, she does a really good job of talking about, you know, just, you know, you're just talking about like day to day, moment to moment, what is going on in your life and how does that apply to you being a coach or to you finding challengers or to you uh, just putting your story out there. And so um, I've, it's even something that I've had to work on a lot. Like, you know, whenever I make a post, like it's about the kids and me uh, playing tennis today or about, you know, us taking a nap yesterday, like I told I was just talking about our day, about our life. Like, we, you know, had worked hard. Um, the kids had done this and that. And then we're laying down to take a nap because, it's, you know, it's my job. I can stop working at whatever I want to and lay down with my kids and snuggle and spend time with them before I have to do something later that night, you know. And so, like, I was talking about coaching and I was talking about what I do. But I was also just talking about my day with my kids. And that's kind of important. Um, so, as new coaches... Um, you know, like you don't have to feel this pressure to talk beach body, to talk about the 21 day fix, to, to talk about, you know, um, you know, like show your meal planning guide. I think that's important for people to see what you're doing, but how do the containers fit into your life? How have the containers changed your life? Are you using your containers? Um, how do you, like when you have a cheat meal, like, you know, like, do you talk about the fact that you cheat? Because people need to know that you're not out there just like eating lettuce and carrots all day long. You know, this has to be something that looks realistic and sustainable, right? Uh, when you work out, uh, you know, I was so guilty. Of, I'm not guilty, but like I, at first, like all I knew to do was like, was post say, oh, I worked out, you know? Um, but then the more I started to share why I was working out, like why did I get up at 4.30 in the morning? Um, why did I, I choose a workout program that allowed me to be at home? You know, like I used to be a gym girl. Um, and now like I, you know, my kids were small, smaller when I started and I didn't have to like leave them and, and go to the gym and, you know, worry about what if one of them wakes up in the, you know, while I'm gone and they want mama, you know, like that was the kind of stuff that I posted about in my workout selfies. All right. Um, or, you know, when it was really cold outside, like I used to hate to get into our car that, you know, I didn't want to go out and warm it up. 20 minutes early, you know, but, um, I could, I would talk about it was like below freezing, like, ah, oh, I get to just work out in my pajamas if I want to, you know, or I can just get up and roll out of bed and push play. Like I don't have to go get in my cold car and drive to a gym and then get back in my cold car, um, and waste about 20 or 30 minutes in the whole process of getting there and coming back home. You know, like those were the things that I talked about. Why does this work for me? Um, and those are the things that other mamas, other women, other whoever are going to relate to. Then that, that's just your story. You know, that's just my story. That's all I was doing was putting it out there like that. Um, and so those are the kind of things like I want to challenge you guys to think about uh, when you're posting, because at this point, um, you're establishing a following. Whether you think you are or not, people are watching you and people are waiting for you to post, right? So, so those of you who fear, you know, like, what am I going to say? I don't want to seem, you know, disingenuous. I, I want to be real or I want to add value. Um, like, you not posting is not helping, honestly, because people are looking for you to post. And you don't have to post 16 times a day. Um, you can just focus on three. If you can get three posts in throughout the day, your following is is building um, like their their idea of who you are. You're creating your brand more or less. Believe it or not, as hard as that is to like kind of understand to believe right now, like you're creating a brand based on your posts. And so, like if you're funny, be funny. If you're you know if you're you like to post something deep every now and then, post that. If you're a woman of faith, include that in your 
in your posts. Um, if you struggle with clean eating and it's hard for you to make it work, if your kids hate what you eat, talk about it. Don't, don't be afraid of like not appearing to be the perfect coach. Nobody wants a perfect coach. People want people who are doing this and overcoming obstacles to make it work because that's the way everybody else out there in this world is doing it or they will do it. Um, and so that's really important as you think about like what you're posting and stuff and don't overthink it. That's a, that's a big one. Um, I used to sit there for like an hour and think, what am I going to write in this post? But you know, like I, now I literally keep a notebook or I, you know, just jot things down in my note section of my phone when I have an idea and then I pull those things later or when I'm reading personal development, you know, like I'll make some notes. I'm like, Ooh, that would make a good post. This, stick, this sticks out to me and it went to somebody else, you know? And so those are things when you think about posting. Um, so, um, first of all, let me say that, you know, we talk a lot about success club. Success club is important. Exactly. You know, uh, but you know, if you don't, if you're not there yet, which may be at success club, which is awesome. I have to shout you out. Way to go girl. Uh, you might can share some tips with these ladies about, um, how you have connected with people, what you've talked to them about uh, some objections. Would you mind to think about that and share how you handle that? Okay. Um, but there's plenty of time. We have what 10 days, 11 days left in the month. And so, um, that is, that is totally achievable. I cannot tell you how many months that I've like, you know, just like waded through conversations and then finally got people to commit. But let me say it this way. We are basically selling health and fitness. We're not just selling Shakeology or the 21 day fix or whatever. We're selling health and fitness. And the way that we do that is we tell our story we connect with people and figure out what their needs are, right? That's our number one goal when we start these conversations is to ask people, what are you hoping to achieve? What is your goal for your health and fitness? What has stopped you in the past? And what do you want to do today? Uh, you know, we figure out what their needs are, figure out how we as a coach and as Beachbody can help them achieve those goals. And then we talk, you talk to them like they are, just cannot wait to sign up. Like this is going to be the best thing since like bread and butter, right? That's not an appropriate analogy for us as coaches, but you know, like, I mean, like this is going to be the best thing that ever happened to them. Like, I don't care if you have to like fake that, that enthusiasm and that confidence, you've got to do it because nobody wants to, to, you know, join um, a challenge group or anybody else that's so that's unsure. And, you know, like I look back and I see that in my own business. I can remember my coach telling me over and over, you know, and, and I don't like that whole fake it till you make it kind of thing. But I do think that as brand new coaches that we have to kind of, you know, have this and it's not false confidence. I mean, y'all wouldn't be here if you didn't believe in the programs, right? You wouldn't be here if you didn't believe in challenge groups and Shakeology. So you just have to remember why. You know, why did you become a coach? Why do you want someone to join this group? What did you get out of a challenge group? And my coach always used to tell me this as a brand new coach, you know, like when I was afraid. She would say, Rachel, what if tonight while you were sleeping, somebody came to your house, they took your Shakeology away, they took you out of your challenge group and they took away your workout program, speech, body on demand, whatever it was. We didn't have that then. 21 day fix. What, how would your life be different? Like, would you miss it? And I was like, heck yeah. Yeah. Like I would, I would, you know, I wouldn't be miserable, but like I would really miss it. And she was like, that's what you have to think about when you're inviting someone to these challenge groups. You have to think about what you get out of all this stuff and why you want to invite someone else to do it. And you have to get excited about it, right? You have to get excited about it in your conversations and in your posts. And so when you're talking to people, you know, like you just kind of have to talk to them like you, they've already made up their mind to, to sign up and you're just basically walking them through the steps, you know? And so that's really important. Um, so before I, you know, I want to talk tonight about what your role is in challenge groups and all that stuff, because that's on our agenda. But before I dive into that, can we like just address like some, some conversations that you're in that you feel like you don't know how to keep going or you don't know how to close them or, you know, objections or something like that. Let's do that first. Anybody have anything they want to share? Don't be shy. I have three. Go. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. All right, so um, I have one lady that um, messaged me and thanked me for um, sending her the message. And that she, I think I showed you, she said, you know, I can't really work out. 
Yep. And so I sent her all of that back and said, what are your goals? Nothing in two days. Okay. So I, I would just message her and say, uh, you know, Hey, you know, I knew you had some big goals and I'm really, this is where, this is the kind of wording I'm talking about. Like I am ready to help you get started and you know, um, just, uh, what did you say? What are her goals? You asked her what her goals were. Um, you know, and I would even say something like, I know you get busy. I get busy and I, I forget to respond to messages. And I just wanted to make sure that you saw it first of all. And secondly, I wanted to make sure you had a spot in our group. So if you can get back to me tonight, I would love to help you, you know, something like that. Um, because you know, people do get busy. Like people just get busy. I mean, I, <laughs> Y'all, I didn't answer this chick's like text message for like three or four days and I felt so bad and I saw it and I totally answered it in my mind, but I never did it like in reality. And so like, you just have to think people are busy like that. So I would definitely follow up. And really the second one is she actually today just said, Hey, will you talk to me about Shakeology and the 21 day fix tomorrow? So that one's really not. Okay. Uh, it's Andrea. She's in our group in um the sean t oh, Andrew, okay. yeah she seems very interested yeah um, and i work with her okay and then like today this is what i have coming a lot with is i have a, a teacher friend who like she signed up with on um, beach body on demand uh -huh. but she doesn't really know her coach um, and then like I spent 30 minutes today talking to her about Shakeology. She likes all my posts, but it's like, she has no relationship with her coach. Yeah. And I just, I don't know what to do with people like that. Do I just not, do I just leave her alone? Like she keeps coming to me asking me questions. Yeah. Um, I, what I always ask people is I just, you know, did she like sign up with her coach or was she just assigned to a coach? She just was assigned to a coach. Okay. Well, then I would just ask her to switch to you. I mean, it's not somebody she knows, and it's not somebody that she's actively worked with. So I would just ask her to switch to you. Okay. Yeah. And there, there's a form. I can um, share it in our team page with you guys, but it's also in the FAQs. Um, it's just a form. All she has to do, she has to have your email, your name, and your coach ID, and they'll, they'll make you her coach. And then, you know, then it, I would definitely have her do that, like, as soon as possible. And then, so she's interested in like Shakeology and stuff. Yes, she, her, or another teacher is a Shakeology, uh, is a beach body coach. Uh -huh. I'm assuming, but she doesn't really um, sell anything or do anything, but they work out together. Right. So, and maybe she feels like she should go with her and I don't care. Yeah. I, I spent 30 minutes today telling her why she should buy Shakeology versus some, the other vegan yeah thing. well just it's done for me mm -hmm. um and like I said she just keeps coming back to me yeah. so so I would say you know hey you know I really really want to help you and I think that Shakeology is something that you should definitely do um but you know like I definitely need you to make me your coach before we can like get you signed up and all that stuff for the challenge group before we can get you signed up for the challenge. Because if that other person's not running challenge groups and she wants to be a part of that, obviously you need to be her coach, right? Yes. Those are my three main. Okay. Um, I mean, I've got others, but those are my three main ones. Okay. Yeah. Those, those are good. So have you gotten lots of objections or are you just getting a lot of silence? Um, I got one. Well, and it, this is not even really a rejection, but I meant to ask you about this. Um, I have like a, one of doTERRA Oles lady that I'm friends with mm -hmm. and she just responded yes I love Beachbody and I just finished a 30-day something I mean that's how she ended it so I was like okay what should I do with that it was something else besides Beachbody but like so should I ask her just to join the group it was like she kind of left it an in like there was no ending to the conversation does that make she, sense she said she loved what but she just finished a she, week. She loved the beach body programs. Mm -hmm. She's done them before, mm -hmm. but she just, she said, and I just finished a 30 day. Probably like Arbon or something. Something like that. Mm -hmm. And, and she didn't say whether she wanted to or not. Those mm -hmm. were just her comments. Yeah. So I would say, Oh, I'm so glad you love beach body programs. I do too. Um, have you, would you be interested in joining, um, an accountability 
group with us, you know, where we're doing the workout programs, we're meal planning, we're focusing on clean eating, and we are incorporating Shakeology. And just ask her that. Would you be interested in doing that? Um, and then also, too, like ask her if she's working with a coach. The only uh, rejections I've got are people that are already on it mm -hmm. or are on Juice Plus. Those yeah. are the only two. Nobody else has said yes or no or anything really yeah and that's where too you know like not that we're, i'm not trying to like switch people over from juice plus to shakeology i think juice plus is great i just you know my experience is with shakeology and i'm you know very pleased with it and i'm happy with the company and all that stuff and so um i'm not trying to convert anybody unless they come to me about it and so but one thing that you you posting about and i don't post a shakeology post every day you know like my goal is once or twice a week for sure um and so like but when you share your shakeology story that's what educates people more than anything especially those people that are just following you that you know um and you know i definitely share my shakeology story a lot in in conversations but you know just to to educate people publicly you know we've got to be talking about it and not just like you know here's my shakeology i'm drinking it today it's like you know, like, why do you drink Shakeology? Why do you pay $4 a day for your, for your breakfast or whatever? You know, um, how does it make you feel? You know, um, just, you know, I, and I don't say I, I'm tempted to a lot. Like, I don't put all that into one post, but I'll break it, in, break it down, like, you know, uh, for the cost. Like, you know, I didn't buy Shakeology at first. Like, I wouldn't do it for, like, three months because I thought it was crazy. Um, but then, you know, I just, you know, there was all these other people doing it, and I wanted to try it. And then I realized, you know, like, I was spending a ton on my breakfast every single week and when i started to replace it with shakeology not only was i eating something better but i was also not stopping for for breakfast i was not drinking that diet coke anymore you know and it cost me like you know around four dollars a day and like it just kept me from from going to the vending machine and all this stuff and it just financially it made sense you know and so that's one post and then i could do a post about the fact that my hormones are better uh that my cholesterol is lower um i can make a short fast funny post about me running out the door of my Shakeology and it took me like 60 seconds to mix it up you know um those are all reasons why Shakeology works for me my husband loves it you know that's a big deal when Matt started drinking it that was a big deal um and so like those are all separate posts that I can spread them out and educate people about Shakeology and sometimes it's just like this tastes like a stinking Wendy's Frosty to me you know <laughs> and I'm willing to eat it every day you know so that help yes a lot. okay all right anybody else have anything or do you have people that you want to invite but you don't know how to approach them or um anything like that how do you know when it's time to invite them from the you know cold relationship to inviting yeah I play that by ear for sure, but my rule, my general rule of thumb is like, if I have, it, like, it's a process. Like you guys have seen my, have you seen my Google streak? Like how I, how I separate that? I can show you, hold on just a second. Ah. Um, so I take them through this funnel process. Um, and so if I have one obviously friended them like i i don't i don't send i in the beginning as a coach i did send a lot of cold invites because that's kind of how my coach taught me but that's not how i work that's not how i operate really you know that's not my personality and so i don't love to do that but um so i do spend a lot of time like connecting building relationships and things like that but i because i do i feel confident that when i get to the invite process this is taking forever. It's not pulling up my streak. Um, I'm confident that when I invite them, then they understand that, yes, this chick like has invested time in me. She didn't just like hit me up for a sale, you know, and then they're following me on social media as well. So like, you know, like I know, I know that by the time I get to the invite process, they know a little bit about me and enough about me to know that I really care, you know? And so the sleuths don't, don't like freak out, but this is kind of my, my funnel process. So like I add new contacts or people that I add as friends and I don't add them here until they accept my request or if they send me a request because I do get a lot of requests from other people. So they go into this new contacts, um, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. 
this, this new contacts uh, box, I guess you call it. And then, so like next week, what I will do is each day I'll go through my new contacts list. I'll pull up a name and then I'll go to their page and I'll start to like and comment on their posts. And this is, you know, this is a long process. I mean, it's not like something I just do. Sometimes it happens fast, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but I don't ever want to pounce on people. Like I don't wanna be that person, that MLM person that pounces, cause we all get pounced on every day, you know, and I hate it. Um, and so like I'll add them as a friend, then the next week I'll go to their page. I'll start to like and comment on a couple of their posts, you know, and it's always genuine. I don't make stuff up. I'm not fake. Um, and so like, I might just like a picture of their family or comment on their kids or, or if they share a funny quote or a motivational quote or something like that, I'm just like, Oh, this is great. This, I'm so glad you posted this. And so that's one week. And then by the third week, just think of this in weeks, I guess. You, sometimes I do it faster. Sometimes I don't. Um, but like the third week I'll go move them over to this Hey Girl box, which means that I have sent them a private message. All right. Um, and it's not about Beachbody. Typically, <laughs> um, it's a message that says, you know, like, oh my gosh, your, um, your kids, you, I noticed your kids have like, um, um, on a Bowdoin outfit or something. Do you, do you order from the website or have you found a place to like, you know, buy it secondhand? Or it might be a message that says, you know, um, your, your family photos were amazing. Like, how did you coordinate your outfits? I have trouble with that, you know? And it's always something non beach body related, but it's always genuine. And I find a way to connect with them. If I can't find a way to connect with them, then I just don't. So I've, I've added them as a friend. I've kind of started, you know, building this relationship my liking and commenting on their posts. And you know, I know, I know that when I start to like and comment, even before I message them, they're aware of it. They see my name and they go check me out, right? And they might start following me. And I notice a lot of times that people just start following my posts before I even message them because I've, I've started liking and commenting. But especially after I send a Hey Girl messages. So in Facebook world, when you send a private message to someone, Facebook assumes that y'all are like besties, okay? And so <laughs> they will start to see my posts in their newsfeed more often, all right? So again, you gotta be posting three to five times a day, right? Um, so you, they will start to see my posts more often and start to see what I'm about, start to see the things that add value, see my transformation, see my challenge group ads, whatever it might be, see my funnies, my family. Um, and so they'll start to follow me and get to know me there. And so then by the time my next challenge group rolls around, some people ask me, uh, you know, a lot of people ask me about what I'm doing, whatever. Um, but by the time my next challenge group rolls around, like I feel comfortable going to them, um, sending them an invite to my event and saying, then sending them a private message and saying, Hey, you know, like I have been, I don't know if you've noticed, I'm a health and fitness coach. I run online accountability groups. I was planning my next one and your name came to mind. So I sent you an invite and I just wanted you to know that because I hate to get added to groups without somebody telling me and people love that like people love that I say that um, people are like oh me too thank you so much for sending me a message and I'm like sure and then I say do you have any health and fitness goals would you be interested in learning more about this group most of them say yes I want to lose five pounds I need to lose 50 pounds you know whatever um, everybody has health and fitness goals and so that's kind of the funnel that I've taken them through uh, not everybody joins obviously but I, I mean I get my my success club every month because I'm talking to enough people. I'm adding enough friends every day. Um, I'm, you know, connecting with them, sending the messages. And then, so when that invite time comes around, like I've invested in them, I've built that relationship. And if they tell me no, I'm just like, I still, I'm like, oh, that's okay. I totally understand. If you want any meal plans or anything, like here's a link to my blog, or I'm happy to answer some questions for you. Um, but I just, you know, I just want to, I didn't want to let the day go by without asking you if you wanted to join us. Okay. And that's it. And then so many times all those no's become yeses later because those people keep following me. And because I didn't just say, when they said no, I didn't say, okay, we'll see ya because I was like, oh, I totally understand, or I connect with them, or I uh, feel, felt, found them, you know, um, they trust me, they just trust me, and so they keep following me, they see my posts, they see me run a challenge group every month, and I'll even go back to some people and say, you know, like months from now, um, you know, I know you weren't interested then because of this, but I thought maybe now you might be ready, and I really wanted you to have a spot in this group if you still have the same goals, if so, let's chat, you know, 
Um, and so like, I just really keep those relationships going, keep them alive. I don't, you know, I'm not necessarily, I'm not talking to this person every day or every week, but you know, I know they're following me and I'm watching them and whatever objections maybe people give me, I'll handle those in my posts and people will <laughs> message me and be like, okay, so that last post got me and you were speaking directly to me. And I'm like, I know I was, I know I was talking to you because <laughs> you gave me this objection like six months ago. Um, and so anyways, that's kind of how I do it. Does that, does that help? Chrissy? Yeah. And there are some people that like, I, I send them a private message and they sign up that night because like, just because they've been watching me, you know, and, and they know what I'm about and I can just, you know, some people ask me about my challenge groups before I can ask them. And it's not because like I'm super coach. It's just because I'm super consistent, you know, in, in what I share. And that really, really matters. Okay. Um, let's see. So <clears throat> this week for me, for my coaches, our challenge group started yesterday. Like if you have someone that signs up, you know, tomorrow, Thursday, or even Friday, like you can still add them to that group. They might not have their Shakeology on time, but that's not a big deal. Um, if we need to, like, if you don't get anybody, like you can totally say, you know, like, Sunday night or whenever, you know, I am just so excited about what I'm doing. I decided to start a different challenge group. It starts, um, I don't even know what the dates are. Um, let's see. Uh, July 3rd. Yeah, July 3rd. Um, and then you can invite people to that. Okay, so don't think that like you're down and out. Uh, we can start another challenge group if we need to. It's not a problem. Or we can help them get started and then add them to our challenge group. All right. So you keep inviting, you keep posting, you keep talking about your challenge group, you keep giving calls to action. Um, and not obnoxiously, but you know, like you do it every single day in some way, not in every post. Like I don't, I don't love it when people like put a post, a call to action in every post. I think that that does get annoying and people do stop following you. But if you like once a day share a meal plan, or you share a recipe, or you talk about your Shakeology, or whatever, you share a workout and talk about accountability, and you're like, hey, you know, if you're ever interested in joining a challenge group with us, just drop your email below or send me a message. I'd love to chat, you know? Um, and so, like, you've got to keep talking about it, keep posting about it, and keep inviting and following up with those people that you have talked to already. Um, <laughs> you can, I don't love free groups, especially for new coaches, because I kind of think that just gives you something else to do. And it takes your attention away from inviting and doing the vital behaviors. But you know, like if you want to run a free group, if you feel like you have time, and that would help you add value to people, you can. But when honestly, what I find is that people that will join the free group are the people that are not willing to invest in the full challenge group. And hey, they, Rachel. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to interrupt. You're fine. Go. I didn't mean to. Go. Uh, I've been very interested in running a free group, mostly because um, I think I may have done three or four free groups with you yeah. before I actually joined a challenge group. And I would have never joined a challenge group had I not done those free groups. Yeah. And um, I, I just feel like, for me personally, I feel like it would be beneficial to do it, but mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I love to do, I, I do like free groups because I feel like for me personally, my goal is not just to sell challenge packs, you know, like my goal is to truly help people. And, you know, I feel like that if I do free groups from time to time that I'm, I'm, I'm helping everybody, you know, like you can't just say, I'm just in this to sell challenge packs. Like I really want to educate people and to help them get over what they need to. I think they are good. Um, and if you have time, I think that they're a really good idea, you know, like come up with a fun, um, a fun theme, like, you know, um, you know, summer squat challenge or, you know, um, you know, uh, poolside abs or, you know, like whatever that may not appeal to your market, but, uh, you know, people, I have a script for just a plain old, like clean eating group, you know, like I can give you, it's just, I've got the meal plan. I've got the recipe. I've got the recipes. I've got the grocery list. And every day there's just like one simple post and you could even like pull, you know, some YouTube like workout videos, or you could like film yourself doing like some abs or squats and share it and challenge them to do it. It's not hard. It takes time. And, you know, you do want to really invest in those people and help them, you know, see what they could get from you as a coach. Um, but I think they're a good idea 
Uh, I'm just, I, my point maybe was just don't let it detract from like you inviting and all that stuff, you know? And so like right. I mean, you're at success club, maybe yeah. like, you could easily run a free group, you know, and not have to really worry about that. So I think it's a good idea. And I think if you want to, you should go for it. Um, and I can help you if you need ideas, but they're not hard. Um, and you just like, you know, you just put it out there. Hey, I'm, I'm, I really want to run a seven day group. It starts, um, you know, June 28th or 29th. And we're going to talk about clean eating, what it is. I'm going to give you a meal plan. Um, I'm going to give you a grocery shopping list and you just show up and you learn and you follow the, the meal plan. And, you know, I'm going to share some tips every single day. You know, you make a post, you can make a little banner or whatever um, and invite people. And yeah, you're, you'll get lots of people. You, you should anyways, you know, a lot of people love that. So that's a, it's a good idea. Right. Okay. I think you should do it. I ordered the three day refresh. Is mm -hmm. there anything to do with that? Like, I, I don't know with like doing a group, uh -huh. I really want to hit S club, but I, I don't know. I just, I'm trying to think of different things. Yeah. You could definitely, I mean, the, people are very intrigued by the three day refresh. Um, I will say that, I didn't have any buy, anybody buy it until I did it myself and shared about it. Um, okay. So, I mean, like, but if you have a group of women that you think would, you know, like friends or something that would do it, um, I think you could definitely do a three-day refresh group. Like, I, I just did one not that long ago. And it's just, you know, you have a couple of days of prep. You talk about, you know, you go through the guide with them in the group. You, you know, uh, you can give them your meal plan and answer questions and things like that. And then as you go through the three days, it's basically just like an accountability thing. Um, and you post your meals, you post your water intake and you encourage them or whatever. And of course, you know, I always, I always work in like scriptural, uh, faith-based stuff because that's how I, that's just how I do it. That's how I approach my own health and fitness. And so like I appeal to people that want to include that as well. And so, you know, that's how I do that. And then, yeah, you could, um, and they'll get Shakeology, you know, they get Shakeology in the three day refresh. So if they haven't tried it or they're scared to try it, that's a good way to do it. Um, so yeah, I mean, you could like, if you have your, if you ordered it, you could like take a picture of you with your box or something and say, Oh, I'm trying something new. This is something to like, you know, maybe you could do it like after 4th of July or something. That's a really good time, you know, um, just tell people like you could start advertising it and tell people, you know, obviously they need to get it ordered. By, um, I don't know. They need to get it ordered by like maybe next Monday, next Wednesday or something like that. And y'all start the day after 4th of July and, you know, talk about, you know, I'm doing this just to kick my cravings, to get the junk out of my body and to really reset and get focused on my nutrition, um, after the holiday. Yeah, you could definitely do that. And that way, you know, people are, and you could even, if people want to do it, you can encourage them to purchase the three day refresh challenge pack if they wanted to, you know, and to continue on after that in a challenge group. Cause that's a really good deal. Um, all right. Anybody else? Okay. Go ahead. I think I have a question. And I keep going back to this because I, for some reason I'm not getting it, but I'm not understanding the event page. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like, am I the only one who doesn't get it? Like, <laughs> it's not necessary at all. Um, like, I ran my business for two, two and a half years without it, honestly. Um, and they didn't, you know, event pages weren't really created until last year sometime. Um, but the way that I do it is that. Um, I just use it as a place and I'm not really even that good at it, but it's kind of a place to like gather people's names and gather people who are interested. Um, and let's see, let me see if I can find one past. Uh, there it is. Okay. So this one, let me share it. Hold on. And if it's an extra step that overwhelms you, you don't have to do it. And maybe you can speak to this. Like you, you created one, right? Has it worked for you? Um, I've created one both times. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I mean, it I doesn't seem like I have um, a lot of people. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't have a lot. I, of I like I like to 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 do it. Um, it's not hard to create at all, and it's just kind of a way to uh, say a lot without saying a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's a good way to put it. Um, okay, so this is my last one for my last group, and I just created it. I put the start date. 
um, I created this description so that when people click on it, they can go and read what it's about. And then every day, my, my goal, I don't know if I did this perfectly, but it was to post in there. And so whenever you post in the event page and people, if you've invited them or they click that they're going or they're interested, they get a notification and so they read it. And like I even have challengers who will go post in there and invite people. Um, I posted about portion control, meal planning. Please tell me that's not all I posted. <laughs> it may be. My goal is to post in there every day, like once a day. Um, and so, but I also mainly for me, I use it as a way to invite people, okay? And, you know, like gather people who might be interested to connect with them without just sending them an invite, you know, first. And then, um, so I'll, I can't do it because this is a past one, but I will use the invite button and then I'll invite them and I'll send them a message, and, you know, privately and say, I invited you to this and ask them a question. And then I know they're going to go to the event page and read about it, right? And so like, and then as people click going or interested, it pops up on their newsfeed and other people see it. All right, so it's just a way to market the challenge group um, without like, you know, I don't know, without having to do it like in a real huge way every single day. And for me, again, it's like a, it's a way to gather people and the, you know, interested people there and to kind of count down to the challenge group as well without doing it so publicly like, like Mandy said. And you don't have to do it. You don't have to do it, but I, I like it now. I mean, I, I even do it for my coach sneak peeks. Um, and it just it just works for me. Um, have you tried it before, Chrissy? Okay, yeah, I would try. I, can't, I still like, I can't comprehend. Yeah, I, I don't know. For some reason, I'm just my head is wrapping around the concept of. It's a place to jab. It's a place to jab. It's a place to gather people and they're, you know, like interested people, people who are going. Um, and like when I have people sign up for challenge packs to join the group, like I say, go click going on this event because when they do that, their friends see that what they're doing, right? Right, which is good. So do you do it like you start it two weeks before your challenge group? I do. And then, it's, I try, I try then your challenge group starts. And then it ends, yeah. The event ends. Yeah. And you do it usually like a week before? Um, I used to do it like two weeks before. Now I do it like seven to 10 days before the challenge group starts. Yeah. And then I, you know, like I'll just post in there just like I would jab on my, um, just public page. Like I'll talk about portion control. I might share a devotion. I might share one of my workout selfies. Um, I'll share like a transformation story, a success story from a challenger. You know, like I can easily come up with seven to 10 posts. I might handle a cost objection in there, you know, stuff like that. And so those people are seeing those posts. They're getting those notifications. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, good questions, good questions. The feel, felt, found. Like, are you guys using that? The feel, felt, found method? Like, I understand how you feel. This is how I felt, but what I found. That goes a huge, a really long way. In, in, you know, connecting with people and answering their questions and overcoming objections. It's huge um, because people don't want to just be like talked to. They want to be understood. Um, and that, that goes a really long way and in informing those relationships and help getting people to commit. And, you know, like if you've got people that are on the fence, you know, you tell them there's a money back guarantee on technology. If you hate it, you can get your money back. Uh, and I always say, if you hate it, which I know you're not, like you're not going to hate it. You're going to feel awesome after you've been drinking it for 30 days and working out. Um, but if you, if you do, you can get your money back, you know, that's a big one. Um, but as for your, your role in the challenge groups, I want to cover that before we go. Um, if you have challengers in your, in my challenge group, in your, co your coaches challenge groups, um, make sure that you are taking care of them because they could be your, your, your next referral, you know, like they could give you referrals. They could be a future coach. Like, um, you, our goal as coaches, our job as coaches is to give them the best support possible. Um, like I even had somebody tell me today, I've made that form about at the end of my challenge group. They said that they wish that I did more like one-on-one -on -one check ins, you know, and I, like I go and I comment on everybody's posts. I try to anyways, you know, that's my goal was to go and interact with everybody when they post. And, you know, like I didn't know that this person wanted me to check in with them one-on-one -on -one, and now I do, so I can do that better, you know, but, um, 
anyways, like, yeah, definitely, you know, it's, it's just like a conversation. Like when somebody posts, it's a conversation. If nobody responds, it's like they're talking to nobody, right? And so like you want to be interacting and, and, and supporting, especially your challengers. Um, and that's another thing, like referrals. Ask people for referrals. If you've got people that say no, right, not right now, or or you know, I already have this or I already have that, you know, say, do you do you know anybody that would be interested in doing this with us? If you have challengers, like go to them and say, hey, you know, like I'm looking for just a couple more people. Do you know anybody that would be interested in joining us? Like I even offer a referral fee. Like I'll I'll give like. I try to do like beach body stuff, like give them beach body stuff, whether it's packets of Shakeology or Energize or a fixate cookbook or something like that. Because when I order it, it helps my volume, you know, and I don't want to be ordering them like stuff from Walmart or, <laughs> or something else. Like I want to do stuff that they can use, but it also helps me as a coach. Um, so definitely ask for referrals. Like, um, you know, and as a brand new coach, like guys, I signed up like my sister and you know, my aunt and you know, like people close to me, I was like, will you please just support me in this and let me practice on you? Um, go through a conversation with people, you know, and if they will, if they will, uh, support you and try Shakeology. I mean, they're probably going to love it. They're going to benefit from the challenge group, if nothing else, even if they do one round, like reach out to people that are really close to you. I signed my husband up at one point, you know, just to get to success club and to rank advance to Emerald, you know, so don't, don't, don't think that that's, there's anything wrong with that. Um, you're just kind of in the beginning stages and you're learning and it just, sometimes you got to pull out those, those, those cards to, to hit your goals. So I definitely. I was know. just going to ask you if signing up my husband to get to Emerald was a good idea. <laughs> I, I did. I did. Um, I mean, like, I because once you get to Emerald, if you're hitting Success Club, especially, um, if you're not Emerald, you're missing out on a good bit of income, honestly. Uh, because once you get to Emerald, you start to get cycle bonuses, which you're not getting right now. The only income you make right now as a coach is um, just from commission, from what you sell. But once you hit Emerald, you start to get those, and it starts at $14, which doesn't sound like a lot, but guys, like today, I mean, like well over half of my weekly check is in um, bonus, cycle bonuses, all right? Um, and so like that volume builds over time. And in the beginning, you're doing a lot for a little bit of money. I'm not going to lie, but the longer you stick with it and the more people you help, then the, you know, the more your income grows, okay? And so also... The other thing is if you're hitting success club and you're emerald, like if you hit emerald should be by like this by tomorrow, honestly, Andy, um, if you hit emerald by tomorrow, <laughs> no pressure. Um, ask Tanya and sign up your husband. Like you can do it. Um, you know, you get leads next month, uh, from Beachbody and those are people that just go to Beachbody. They order stuff. They don't have a coach. They get assigned to you. And when they order stuff, you get commission and eventually volume on what they buy. Um, and so like last month, I haven't gotten any, I mean, I've gotten leads. I get leads every month. If you hit success club five, you can get up to five leads. If you hit 10, you get up to 10, uh, leads and not everybody buys something. Some people just create an account, but like last month, like six of my success club points came from people who ordered technology or a challenge bag. All right. Um, and you know, like I have like one dude who orders like three or $400 worth of Shakeology every month. He's never responded, never answered my emails, whatever, but I get commission on what he buys, you know? And so like Emerald is huge. Emerald is a big deal. So I would definitely get there as quickly as possible. And I think that for you for next month, I don't know, let me check on that. I don't know if you need to do it by tomorrow or if you did it next Wednesday, you could still get that. I'll have to check. But yeah, I would definitely make that a goal. Okay. Do y'all have questions? Okay. Does this help? Are y'all like, yeah? Okay. Uh, just don't give up. Don't, don't like get discouraged because whatever you're going through, like we all have been there. You know, I mean, like even Timmy shared in one of our, our, our other training groups that she's at, at Success Club Zero right now. And, you know, like she's just had like a crazy, like personal month that's been hard and she's at success of zero and she's hit it for 22 months and she's like, by golly, I'm going to hit it again. You know, and so don't be discouraged. You can do this. You've just got to talk to people. You've got to follow up. That is huge. Do not like shy away from following up. Um, because like I could, I mean like Mandy, like how many times do we talk about a challenge group? 
I mean, so a, lot. <laughs> a lot, a long time, like a really yeah. long time. I was always like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, didn't, I mean, like, I didn't care. I was just ready for you to do it, you know, like, and I was going to follow up because I knew you wanted to do it. And so I was going to follow up as many times as I needed to until you were ready and at a place where you could do it, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and so like, you cannot be afraid to follow up. To me, following up means that we stop, or stop, not following up means that we stop caring. And you know, like Ashley Lachlan said last night, you follow up until they die or they say, leave me alone, you know? And I do that, like I legit do that. Like you should see my list of people that I'm like, follow up next month, follow up next month. Like I wrote this lady's name down, like in January that has had a baby this month and she's on my list to follow up with next month, okay? So like I follow up with people because, that's just, you know, that's how some people take a while. All right. All right. That's all I got. Um, thanks for showing up guys. And I will post a recording, um, in our team page and you guys can ask any questions, but let me, I'll find out about Emerald for you. Was there something I need to find out Christy for you? No. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, um, y'all have a good night and I'll talk to you later. Thank okay. you. Bye.